From an infrastructure point of view, why should we care about density? It comes down to how much it costs a city, and ultimately all of us as ratepayers. Take just freshwater infrastructure needs of an average suburban development. Typically, the development will need a trunk main extending to the vicinity of the suburb. Then, within the suburb, smaller reticulation mains branch out to serve clusters of homes. From there, private laterals connect each individual home to the reticulation main. In this case, the trunk main and reticulation main may only serve a few dozen homes. Compare this to infill development in an urban setting. When an old building is replaced by a new, higher capacity building, the water mains that serve the property are often already adequate for the site use. In this case, it's just a matter of internal piping. In this urban setting, a single main could provide water for thousands of residents. Add to this the cost to pump the water and maintain the public water mains, and the difference in cost on a household basis can be tens of thousands of dollars. But it gets worse. When cities charge for water, they almost always use average cost pricing. This means that they take the total cost of delivery for that water to the entire city, divide it by the number of users, then charge the same price by liter of use whether you live in a dense urban location or a far out suburb. Those that live in urban areas heavily subsidize the water infrastructure and delivery for suburban residents. It's called a perverse incentive. And it happens for all kinds of infrastructure, from broadband internet to highways and sewage. Density is better for infrastructure.